So 1st of July, who'd have thought we'd be doing at home workouts on the 1st of July, but here we are. Hopefully we can get the doors open very soon and have you guys back in. But kilo section of the day, we're gonna start with our handstand slash frog stand work, um, just getting more comfortable with balancing on our hands. It's a 10 minute EMOM, 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, consistent with our kilo stuff at the moment. Just make sure you're picking a progression that is gonna work for you and give you 30 seconds of challenging um, movement that can hopefully lift you onto the next progression. Okay, so it's gonna be a frog stand without the knees sitting on the elbows, but I'll go through all your progressions, okay? So at the very, at the basics, we can just start to kind of pitch back and forward to try and get comfortable with rocking into that position. We can go into our frog stand. We can take, oh, we can take one, try that again. One knee away, okay? And then for today's top progression, I find this really challenging. This is um, unsupported elbows on the knees. I'll give it a go, but you kind of get the idea. So we're gonna be in this top position. Oh, I think I had it for about three seconds there, maybe less. Give it a go today, guys. So after your uh, kilo section, the very, very challenging frog stand work, we're gonna be moving into the workout, which is four time. We've got a descending rep scheme for all of them, but we've got a slightly uh, different pattern of numbers. So we've got 10 down to one for the press ups. We've got 20 down to two for the V-ups, removing two each time. And then we're going 30 to three with air squats, removing three each time. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 8, 8, 8 for the, for the press-ups, 20, 18, 16, 14 for the V-ups, and then 30, 27, 24, 21 for the squats, okay? So make sure you check Sugar Ward and have a good old look through that and see if you can kind of comprehend it. Um, but it'll be a good workout. So we're gonna start off with the press-ups. You can go knees or toes. Just make sure you're going through full range of motion, keeping those elbows nice and tucked. From there, we've got our V-ups. Oh. I find my balance on those again, so V-ups. And then into our air squat. So hip crease below the knees, knees wide, nice and wide, okay? So we're doing that four times. So you're stretching after that uh, workout, the descending rep scheme workout is going to be um, three rounds, minute on, on uh, each movement. Um, we've got a reclined side to side twist. So arms out to the side, just bring the knees over, give the back a good stretch. Just move it nice and easy between each side. So that's a minute of that. And then we've got couch stretch. Ugh. 30 seconds per side, just feeling that all the way through the hip flexor. Try not to just let your ribs flare, abs on, bring the whole hip forward, maintain the uh, torso as one solid unit and that'll intensify the stretch. And we're doing that 30 seconds per side for three rounds. 